All right, I did it once, I'm gonna do it again. This time as a build, we're gonna do the black and white challenge. I haven't done it yet. I am so scared because <laughs> the way the cast one turned out, not great, wasn't great, guys. But I'm excited to find out how this one's gonna turn out. So let's get to my computer and do it. <laughs> if you guys don't know, the black and white build challenge is I'm going to turn my monitor black and white so I can't see any colors. And we're gonna try not to suck at matching colors. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Let's go do it. Okay, so here we are in Brindleton Bay, my favorite little town in the Sims universe, to do the black and white challenge. So let's get to work. Okay, so here we go. So I will go ahead and build the shell of the house. Um, and then we'll kind of just go from there. Uh, so tune in after I'm done building the shell of the house. All right, so here we go. Here is the shell of the house. I'm thinking we're gonna do um, downstairs. We're gonna do the living space. I think this will be like a sunroom where it'll be a nice little sitting room. We'll do a kitchen right back here. We'll do um, living room right up here. We'll do dining kind of off to this corner here and maybe like an office here. I'll figure out a bathroom situation at some point. And then we'll come upstairs and this is where the bedrooms will be. We'll maybe do two bedrooms with a bathroom. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the exterior of the house. I'm trying to think if I want to raise the foundation. Let's raise the foundation just for fun. I'll we'll put in a porch over here as well. There. Um, and then we can pick um, some stairs. I know I like these, but it's no fun if I don't try and pick different colors. Okay. So let's see here. We'll do these steps like that. So I have to try and match those with the ones in here. Oh no, definitely not. No, no, no. Oh no, oh no. All right, well we'll just, we can't go with that. That is, that is, very obviously not correct. Oh no. Maybe we'll just go with something completely different. That's even worse, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm already stressing out. Okay, it's fine. I have wine. Cheers. I want to try and go with something I don't use very often, but we're still going to go with the door that I love to use a lot. I think this is the white one. What that one? Okay. And then windows. Let's go with these. Cause I like the Strangerville windows. We'll make it very colonial. That sounds like a plan. I might even change the roof a little to have it be like a covered porch front. Um, that's all we'll do for right now because I obviously we have to place a kitchen. Yeah, let's do maybe I'm thinking maybe we'll do a covered roof. So let's go ahead and pick a pillar. Go with that one. And then we will do this one this roof and pull it over and bring it obviously all the way down. That's going to be cute. Oh, look how nice that looks. Yeah, that looks much nicer. Yeah, it gives a little more dimension to the house. 
place these windows. The only thing I don't like about building in Brindleton Bay is when these trees get in the way. I think that's real frustrating. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and we'll do... We're doing a pretty dark kind of accent to the exterior. So we're gonna go dark there. And then as far as roof color is concerned, we should probably go a bit lighter. No, that's not gonna work. Let's go dark on the roof as well. I think that'll look nice. And then for the exterior of the house, we'll wanna go light. For the exterior of the house, we'll wanna do I'm kind of thinking in the bottom, I can match them. I'm trying to remember if I can match these. So I'm thinking like bottom would be really cute to do like that along the bottom, but can we match? Yeah, kind of, uh oh, because then those don't match. Okay, maybe we won't do that at all. That was a cute idea, but not sticking to it. See? Just like that. See, look how cute that's going to be. See, look, it's going to be really cute. Just keep telling ourselves that. And then I realized that if we're going to be doing dark accents, we need to be, like, doing dark accents everywhere. So let's change these to that color. And then we need to redo the fencing as well. Let's go with maybe this fencing and we'll go dark. See, look how nice. See the black accents, that's really cute. Okay, so we can do this room because we know this room is gonna be like a sunroom. So this room we want like nice big windows. This is probably the same color. Let's maybe do instead, let's do not custom content. Um, let's maybe do these guys and we'll do like, something to this extent maybe. Do something like that. Why do these seem off? That's how it. Okay, perfect. Cool. The cute little sunroom off to the side of this little cute colonial house that is going to be cute. We got to remember it's going to be cute. There's no other options. Okay. Let's pick the flooring for the outside. I'm thinking I also want to go with some masonry. Um, let's maybe do these cute little brick pavers. There's no other color option. I don't remember what color they are. So we'll go with those. So that's the outside. Um, might come back out and do... Um, some other here. Okay, so we got to do our kitchen. So, uh, okay, wait, let's back it up for just a hot second. And we will do the archway going in here. Okay, now we'll do the kitchen. So kitchen, kitchen things. I usually go with the for the parenthood kitchen stuff, or I'll go with these, the harbinger, the harbinger, the harbinger counter. Because I really like to go either traditional or modern. But I think I'm gonna go with something that I don't use very often. I'm trying to save custom content. I don't I know I don't like these because I hate in real life, I hate tiled countertops, so I refuse to use those. So let's go ahead and use, um, 
let's use these butcher block ones because I don't use these like ever. So we'll use these because I don't know what they look like. I never use them because I don't like the idea of butcher block counters either, but to each their own. So we'll do that. We'll put the fridge there. And maybe what we'll do is do like a massive island. So we're gonna do three like that. We'll come back to this guy and we're gonna do the stove in the middle like that. Do those not match? I'm confused. Uh oh, okay. Okay. Apparently that's the matching counter. Okay, that's fine. All right, stove. Um, let's go ahead. I mean, I would want to use this custom content one because it doesn't have the lip, which is nice. I guess it does kind of have a lip. No, let's see, it doesn't. So I want to use this custom content one, but I can't upload to the gallery if I do. Um, so let's go with maybe the parenthood one and we'll go with that color. I just don't love the lip coming up when it's in the middle of the counter, but that's fine. And then we'll put the sink over here. The plate safe with that sink. Okay. And then we're gonna do the parenthood. That's pretty close to matching. There we go. I like that because it doesn't do the weird like gap between. So, prefer it. And then this one doesn't really have matching uppers. So we're just gonna do the parenthood one and try and match it as best we can. So we're gonna do something like this. Or V and then the parenthood. There we go. See, look how cute that is. That's really cute. I like that. I like that a lot. So there's our kitchen. Put that in the corner. And we'll also get a dishwasher. We'll put the dishwasher right there. I'm very curious as to what these colors are going to look like. Okay, and then dining. Oh, that's right. We're, oh, that's gonna be sitting area. Okay, so then dining can be over here. So let's do a dining table. And let's do one I don't use very often. I don't use this one. So maybe go with this guy, which is weird because I actually really like that one. I just don't use it very often. Probably because I don't like any of the colors it comes in, so it'll be interesting to see what colors these come out all to be. If any of them match. I'm trying to think, do we want to do like a backyard deck? I'm thinking we do. So let's go ahead and come back out to the backyard. And we'll do a backyard deck. And we'll just do just the length of this portion of the house. I just have to put stairs in too. Cute. We'll do something like that and we'll do like, we're kind of doing darker accents here. So we'll do that and then I want to grab these fences again and just plop them in like that. So there and then we can do, oops, dark hardwoods. Let's do those there and then here inside we can do let me see um do we want to do like the really big one yeah why not why the heck not all right so i'm thinking then stairs will just have to go like right here essentially so let's go ahead and pick out our stairs. I think we'll go with these. We'll go with that. This is gonna take some finagling here. Do 
do that, and then we do that. And then we'll go ahead and place the stairs like that. Is that gonna look weird? We gotta replace this chair. Is that gonna look weird? It kinda does. Okay, rethinking life. Let's maybe put the stairs like here. And then the dining can go like right here. And then the living can go in the sunroom. We'll just put the living room in the sunroom. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. So railings. So maybe we go with these. We'll go with those and bloop. Yeah. All right. Wall color. Oh boy. Um, I think this is the wall color I like. Because that's the point of this challenge. It looks better. Still don't love the placement there, but it's better. Uh, and then bar stools. Grab about bar stools. Let's go with those. Okay, I still don't love that placement. So let's do the original. sliding glass door and put the stairs just in this back corner. I think that'll be much better. And then we can put the dining room like that. And then we can do that. And then I still need like a powder room down here. Like a Unless we put this back over here like that, and then we did, that's going to knock out that window, but it'll knock out that window too, but that's okay. Put the powder room like right here, so that we can grab maybe this door. Just put in a toilet and this pedestal sink because I like that pedestal sink. Okay, then we can center that window a little bit more. We can put in a mirror. Let's maybe put in like just a simple mirror because like who's gonna? Oh, I can't put that one in. That one. Also not really high enough. Oh, we could just put that in. That would work. That's quite the mirror for such a small bathroom, but it'll do the trick. Okay, so that's gonna look much better. So let's grab the same wall paper and we'll do that. I'm thinking I also want to do that just to even out that wall. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so I don't have lighting in here at all. What's the point of lighting? Um, let's do the little, I can't remember which one the little one is. I think it's this one now. Yeah, the little saucers, because we love a good little saucer. And then we can also do like this one maybe as like the chandelier there see now it's nice and light in there a little saucer in the bathroom and we'll do a little saucer as you're coming up the stairs too oh so we couldn't do it that way 
Oh, you know what we could do though? We could come up here and do it like that. Out of the stairs. There we go. I know how to play this game. Okay. So there we go. Downstairs is pretty close to done. I still need to do the living room. So we're going to go ahead and do in here a nice little living room area. So let's go ahead and put in a TV stand. We'll go with this guy. I'll put him in the corner with a nice little TV on top of him. And then we'll do, um, I don't know, all these couches look awful. I hate all of these couches. Every single one. Let's do this one. The university couch. And we'll do it all the way back like that. And I betcha there isn't a matching love seat, is there? This is as close we're probably gonna find. Is there another university one? No. So it's not even on our loves. Okay, so never mind. Um, I guess we're just gonna go with my old faithful. Let's go with this one. Oh boy. Okay, maybe putting the TV at an angle was a bad idea. I mean, I know the Sims can like watch it from wherever, but like Okay, so we'll do that one like that, and the big one's right here, and I'm going to try my hardest to match it. This is a very small little sitting room. I may need move objects on, or I could always just expand it one. centered. Oh, okay, that'll work. Um, and then we need uh, we need this coffee table. It would be kind of cute. I don't use that one very often, but I feel like it's out of place. Let's make these all a little bit darker, maybe. Like that. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Now sitting room is kind of ish done ish we could do like let me see dark like that and then we could do like plants on that maybe not custom content plants do real game plants. Let's go maybe these plants. Those would be cute. Let's do another color just for fun. Um, I need to come in here for the clutter. I mean, I don't, I don't have to come here for the clutter, but I do anyway. Um, I want to find like just some clutter items here. Like the tissue box can go like right there. magazines. I feel like I want to do... What were they from? They were from... Um, Moschino. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Just to kind of add a little bit extra in there and then we'll go ahead and do... Um, corner and that's gonna be pretty much done we could probably add a little bit of clutter to the kitchen let's go ahead and head to the kitchen right here and we'll do like a bread box and we can do like this tea thing which means that we could probably get the tea maker remember which one the tea maker is. Right here. So we can do that 
right there, and the tea maker. The tea stuff can go right there. There, it gives it a little bit more to kind of have. And then we need to do the flooring. So we have not done flooring yet. Let's do some hardwoods. We'll go with these hardwoods. I usually really like these hardwoods. We'll go maybe something light because everything else is kind of dark. Like the furniture is all kind of dark. So we'll go light like that. We need to do the bathroom, like at all really. So let's do tile in the bathroom. Let's just maybe do this tile and then we'll do tile on the wall too maybe. So let's do uh, this tile like that. I think it would be good. Okay, probably not, but it'll do the trick. Um, and then we can do some art because this is a wall screaming for artwork. We'll do that and then this wall needs some art too. Let's maybe do... No. I hate that. Let's see. No, I don't want that one either. I like this one a lot. Let's go with that one. Um, that's really it for down here. So let's go ahead and move upstairs. So let's do up here, we'll do a bedroom here. So it's going to be like a bedroom right here. And then a, maybe a bedroom right here. Maybe not. Let's do Let's actually expand this bedroom a little bit, like that, and then we could actually just do the bathroom right here, and then the second bedroom could be, I'll oh, make it a little oddly shaped, but this will be like a kid bedroom, and we could close this off. Be a little weird, but you could do that as like an office. But I suppose this could be just like a little alcove where we could still make it kind of office-y. But it doesn't need to be like a bedroom. Hmm. Or does the bedroom just go right here? But then you have to go through a bedroom to get to the bathroom. It's a little weird. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Now we'd have to go through a bedroom to get to the bathroom, which you could. Mm, no, that's awful. Like I would never buy a house like that. So let's do, I suppose the other bedroom could just be like here along that. And then we could do even like another bathroom right there. That'll work. So this could be the master with a master bathroom. Then this could be a bedroom with a bathroom here. There, that'll work. Okay, so we got the bedroom situation figured out. So, um, I don't love the idea of the master having the bathroom or the door right off of the stairs. So we'll do that and then we'll do that. So you have to kind of come around the corner. So this will be the master bedroom. So let's go ahead and find a bed. And then we can do like um, this one. We can do this one. And nightstands. Let's do. I've not used these before. So let's use a different color though. Let's go with that one. that side and then we can do table lamps faux show do table lamps let's do these they don't give off a lot of light but that's okay because we are going to just grab this guy because whoever does not put this guy in a build 
Oh, my friend, you are doing The Sims wrong. You really can't do The Sims wrong. There is no such thing as doing The Sims wrong. You play The Sims. You play The Sims how you want to play The Sims. Okay. So, then let's do the doors. Let's match the doors because Mama doesn't play that game. Okay. And so then let's do the rest of the master bedroom here. is in a ton of space to do a dresser but we do have the lovely and wonderful um, tiny living pack so we'll just center it right there and that's good to go I have no idea what color that was but and we're gonna just pl not play it safe and we're gonna do um, another color up here. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. We'll do this color for the bedroom. And we'll do this color for the kid bedroom. And for out here in the main house, main part of the house, we'll put that color. Okay? Just because we want to play it a little scary. Because that's the whole point of this challenge. Okay. Let's do the master bathroom. So the master bathroom, we need a toilet. We'll do a toilet like that. We need a bathtub because God knows you can't have a master suite without a bathtub. So we'll go with this bathtub and we'll go with like that. And then we'll do um, like a true vanity maybe. Let's do this guy. We'll do this one and we'll do that so there's a sink on either side because I mean Sims don't care about dual sinks but I do clearly okay so they'll just have a bath in their master they don't need a shower so then in here we'll do a shower tub combo Master or the kid room, the kid bathroom. Let's just take that window out completely and we'll do this one, but I'm gonna play it scary, do a swatch that I don't do very often. And then we need a toilet, and then we need, uh, we'll just do a pedestal sink in this one. They didn't redo this bathroom or something, I don't know. And then the kid bedroom. We're gonna do a bed alongside here. Let's do this one from University. But let's do a different color, even though I have no idea what color that is. Uh, we'll do that color. And then we'll do an end table like that. And then we'll do a couple of kid things in here. So like, let's do the little puppy guy because I really like him and we'll do like a toy box let's do this toy box we'll go with that color here just like that and then we gotta do we gotta do what we gotta do and what we gotta do when it comes to a kid bedroom I don't know how anybody else can ever play without one of these it's the worst Kid is like, I'm afraid of everything. I mean, I get it because I'm afraid of everything as well, kid, because I can't sleep without a nightlight either. So I feel ya. I feel ya hardcore. We'll give this kid like, we'll pretend like this kid really wants like pets, but he can't have pets because let's pretend like he's like allergic. Um, so his parents were like, cool, we'll just put, you know, dog and cat decals all over his walls dog bowls and whatever that is should be at a vet's office and a mouse see this kid really just really really wants pets okay but this kid can't have pets because this kid's allergic okay um so then we can do 
so skill building along here so let's go ahead and do like uh no let's maybe do this guy like that and then we'll do uh let's see well i guess this one because this one can fit nicely right here along with maybe this chair and we can do just like a simple just computer and then we can do maybe an easel So we can just do some skill building up on this level of the house. And then we'll be good to go. And we need to do flooring. And I don't remember what flooring I used downstairs. But we're not playing it safe. I think it was the... I know it's this flooring. This is my favorite flooring. But I think we went with the lightest, maybe? Did we go with the lightest? I think so. Tile floor. Let's go with... Uh, let's do one that I can choose another color. So we'll go with that guy the bathrooms and then we can go with um let's see tile and we'll go with like maybe this one okay and then we need to start putting oops uh to put more windows in because I completely negated windows for the rest of the house. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and we'll do like that and then like that and then this side we can do like here and here. There, now we have windows all over the house. I forgot about rugs. Let's do rugs. Let's do rugs. Okay. So for in here, maybe we'll go, because you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with laundry day stuff pack. You just can't. And if it steers me the wrong way, then I guess I learned my lesson. But as far as I'm concerned, you cannot do wrong with laundry day stuff pack rugs. And you, it would be a cold day in hell before you ever convinced me otherwise. So, just so you're aware, you cannot go wrong. I mean, <laughs> maybe that's a stretch, but like, that's right, that's what that rug is. Okay, let's maybe do this rug underneath. I don't think I like this initial color though, so let's go with something like this maybe. I think that'll work. I don't know what to do in this little space right here. Uh, I guess. Additional seating, I guess, is what we could do. So let's maybe do this chair here, and then this chair, like, right here. But I don't like that. Let's have them at, like, an angle. Should we go inward? It's really weird, but I mean, or do we have them up against like here and then maybe do like mm, that here? I wonder if that like even remotely goes with whatever I picked for those chairs. There's just a little extra seating area where we can do just like a little, well, we can do an entryway rock like that. Um, let's do just like this guy, but we'll do like that. There, something like that, that'll be cute. That's cute, that's nice, okay. There, now the house feels a little more finished. I think, I mean, I guess I could put art up here. Like 
movie posters. Movie poster kind of things. And then their bedroom, we can do, I like these a lot. Okay, I feel like I need to change these though, but this just changes like, that actually changes the pattern. So we'll go with that one. Okay, I think we're done. I think this is the finished house. So are we ready to turn the color back on? Oh boy, I'm scared. What color did I make this house? Okay, we'll do that and we'll turn colors back on okay are we ready to see the house I created okay well let's make it let's make it daytime. okay well the outside isn't so bad I was not expecting burgundy oh somehow that didn't get colored in Weird. that didn't get changed that's odd um, well the doors and the windows do not match that is a red brick was not anticipating the red brick. What's back here? Oh, I forgot to like do any landscaping or do anything on this back porch, but it's all right. Okay, let's go inside and see. Oops. Ugh. Click, click, click. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, well, the uppers. Oh, oddly enough, the uppers match the fridge wood. So there's that, but they do not, none of the kitchen matches, like at all. And the stove is red. So that is a very colorful kitchen. We come in here and we see a lot of colors. I mean, these are just eccentric people and this is the walls I like to use. Okay. Oh, that actually turned out. That all matches. That's good. Um, actually I don't hate the bathroom because like the sink matches the wall so that works. This is a very bright like mahogany. Oof. Okay. So down here, not so bad. This is, this is fine. I mean it doesn't match but it's fine. Let's come up here. I mean they just like colors. Oof. Oof. Da. Yikes. That is a fuchsia wall and this bathroom they just really like color oof yikes oh my god and then the kid bedroom I mean the kid bedroom is fine I guess this one didn't turn out so bad they're just people there's eccentric people who like color so nothing wrong with that um, this house ended up actually turning out not as scary as the other one. So, hey, I'll take it. There we go. All right, on to the outro. There you guys have it. Uh, my black and white build challenge. Did it turn out okay? Because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I really should actually, like, do the intros and outros afterwards. Because, man, then I could at least talk about it in the intro. In the outro, so... There we go. All right, you guys have a good rest of your day. That's all I got for you. If you guys want to see my last Sims video, you guys can click right here. If you guys want to see all of my Sims videos, you guys can click right here. You can click here to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And let me know in the comments below your least favorite part of my house. See you guys all next time, bye.